Today, I'll talk about coronavirus, sort of, by talking about coffee. I've always had trouble conceptualizing exponential growth, so I'm going to try to conceptualize it using coffee beans. All right, so let's set up the scenario. I bought some coffee online from a local roaster, and they offered a great deal on a magical doubling bean. You only get one bean, but it doubles daily once you open the bag, which I received on March 1st. So let's see how many beans we would end up with in April once we open that bag up with the magical bean on March 1st. All right, on March 1st, you opened up the bean. You've got one bean. On the second, it doubles. So you have two beans. Or me, I do, not you. On the third, I had four beans. That's how doubling works. On the fourth, I now have eight beans. On the fifth, I have 16 beans. And again, I wanna make sure my beans are together. On the sixth, I have 32 beans. On the seventh, I have 64 beans. On the eighth, I have 128 beans. Look at my beans. On the ninth, I finally had enough beans for one espresso. So that's a bit interesting. It took me over one week for one espresso. On the 13th, I finally have enough coffee for one bag, which I should have probably just bought two weeks ago. And on the 14th, I have two bags. On the 15th, I have four bags of coffee. All right, I may have to freeze some of this, but this is still a great problem to have. On the 16th, I have nine bags of coffee. On the 17th, I have 19 bags of coffee. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is, this is good. On the 18th, I have 38 bags of coffee. I thought it was a bird, but it was just more coffee bags. On the 26th, I had to start storing my coffee in shipping containers. They come in colors, though. And uh, April started off pretty uneventfully. I don't have Animal Crossing, but on the 6th, I am able to give out an espresso to the entire U.S. population, so that's fun. And on April 11th, I started talking to my favorite importer slash exporter about shipping all of my coffee because I now have enough beans to give an espresso to the entire world's population. Luckily, I know a great exporter. So what we saw is not linear growth, it's exponential growth. And it's hard to conceptualize, especially since the doubling rate takes time for us to perceive it as meaningful, or at least for me. We could consider a scenario where the bean only increased by 1.5 times each day. So that's a doubling rate of just under two days. It would take until March 22nd to get one coffee bag and that 1.5 times bean scenario. And you'd only get enough espressos for the U.S. population on May 2nd in that scenario. We went from a doubling rate of one day to just under two days, and it slowed the growth significantly. Now, this scenario is not the same as the infection rate of coronavirus in too many ways to talk about here. But I hope that it helps to conceptualize exponential growth and it highlights how it takes time to grow to a scale that feels meaningful. And I hope that you're safe and healthy and that you find one of those magical coffee beans or at least have some delicious coffee to drink. Thanks for watching.